Alright, what's up guys? Me and Andrew here. I want to welcome back to the channel. Uh, super excited to announce the 1972 GMC Astro. I could not believe it when I found this truck. Like, me and Dad were sitting at lunch. We were talking about maybe building the truck together. Just seeing if like stuff, stuff we could do together. And something we could do with Andrew. And maybe Devin get involved too. And then it just so happened I found an awesome truck. Wasn't very expensive, it cost a little bit of money, but I think at the end of the day, it's gonna be awesome. So here it is, 1972 GMC Astro. Uh, runs good, somewhat, it drives somewhat. It's pretty cool. Um, this was an experience. The story on getting it here, well, honestly, I can't say. I'm just gonna let you guys see it. Uh, I don't want to go too far in detail on it, honestly, just because I want—I don't want to ruin the video. So, yeah, this is going to be another little build we're going to do in conjunction with the white truck, the white cab over. This one kind of runs and drives. It doesn't need as much work. Obviously, it's going to need body work and like small stuff, but this isn't something we're going to use to pull boat trailers and actually put on the road. This is something like we're going to kind of use to just me and Andrew just kind of build on it and like you know do some fun stuff me and dad so yeah i'll let you guys get to the video this is very exciting i mean look at it. it's a 1972 cab over this it's doing good it's, it's still in good shape so you excited me too all right let's get to the video all right we're almost there dad what do you think what you excited or what yeah i'm excited Check out another cab over. It is a cab over. It's gonna be sweet. I am super pumped. I've been looking for one of these old cab overs for a long time. And this one just, every time I find one, they're like four or five hours away. They're super expensive. Not expensive, but like 15, 16 grand. And you just can't ever find them in good shape. Most of the time they're ratted out. So that'd be sick. That would be Do you imagine? Oh, Twin yeah. sticks. Maybe it did, though. It's a 72. It's got an eight speed in it with a old Detroit. Oh man. There it is. Look at this thing. Oh, that is sick. It looks so good. It looks better than I thought. No way. I'm about to drive the wheels off this thing. Look at that. That is a good looking truck. Holy crap. The road. I know, I don't know why. That's my tires. <laughs> I just drove off the road not paying attention. Oh man, I'm so excited. Let's get up here and get this guy, see what he's got. There's dad, look at him. Oh man, this is gonna be so cool. What? 1972 GMC. Holy crap. Is it in good shape? Uh, they've already worked on the frame, look. They extended it a little bit, huh? They put, I guess they cut it off and put a single wheel. That's weird. Is it? Yep. It looks good. What do you think underneath? Look at that Detroit. V8. What's it look like up in here? Oh, that ain't bad. Pretty slick. It looks good. Definitely needs some work, but that's what I plan on doing. It's gonna be so cool. Let's see what it looks like up in here. Oh, that's sweet. Interior needs some work. This is what we gotta do. We gotta take 
take it all apart, put it all back together, cleaned up. Yeah, well, it's pretty much gutted for the most part. Wouldn't be hard. What's it look like up in here? Oh, that would look bad. They just drive these things all over the country. Look at this. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is cool. Man. Inner axle, hard drive, slippery wet. That's where you lock it. I was hoping it had twin sticks, but. Wait a minute. Huh. This is a 13. They put a 13 in it. It's, a, it's supposed to be a 9 speed. Oh, it's got the uh, overdrive split. So it's just high and low. Which is, split which 5, is 6, 7, speed. 8. So you got low, first, second, third, fourth. And then 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th. We don't use low range, so it's a 9 speed. Yeah. And then, then it's got the direct overdrive. Huh. Which is right here. That's crazy. Huh. It doesn't look bad for a 72, though. 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th. Splitter for 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th. I wonder if it's a 13. It's got the thir it's got two splitters on it. Yeah, like a 13 and an 18. Yeah. Is it everything you thought? It's a little rougher than I thought. Oh. Let's put some boxes on it, crank it up. It is V8, though. Yeah. Have you drove it any? They drove it here. Okay. They drove it from Sevierville to here. I can't get up in the cotton pickets up with my legs. <laughs> I understand that. Yeah. yeah, I feel you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they cut the frame. Yeah, they... Okay. Yeah, it's been... That's what I don't like. It's been worked on. Got power. Oh, it ain't locked down. Let's hook the booster box up and start her up. Oh man, I hope this thing starts.
caught up and said for years, he said, Started in years. Help me.
think it's in better shape than uh, Johnny Cash was. Uh, I run it all the way to the house 
this way. Hopefully it'll make it this way. It's running pretty good. It needs, I, I think it definitely needs oil. I don't know if, if I could hear it knocking or not. No, 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 I can hear the Wow. Oh yeah, this thing is so cool. You went by, everybody's going, whoa, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Man, this is so sweet. Oh, I made it here though. I almost crashed it, but I made it here. <laughs> Man, I almost pooped my pants. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh, I got to get it back out. And I just whoop, like jerked it real hard and came out and right back on the road. And I'm like, all right, here we go. Whoo! All right. Well, I know I said I wouldn't do another project until I got the other one done, but I just couldn't pass this thing up. Look at it. Oh, it's so cool. 
So we're gonna, I guess me and dad are gonna tear this thing apart and see what we can do with it. It's sweet and I'm so excited, but thanks you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and let me know what you think of this thing because it's so sweet and it's fun to drive. So thanks, thanks for joining me on this little adventure. This is awesome.